Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the light equipment template. One thing I like to mention, like I've been mentioning in all the videos, we are still currently going on with Magnafest. I am still doing the Bahamut high level dash Akasha things on my Twitch live stream. If you want to join them, feel free. I did end up getting a gold bar today. Not bragging, just mentioning that they do drop gold bars if you're actively farming them. So if you feel like you need a gold bar, it's a good way to uh, hopefully acquire one. Another thing I'll mention is that currently GBFS is going on. Many things have been leaked thanks to people on Twitter. So things like the, up to, uh, the two upcoming characters, silhouettes, have been leaked. One looks to be resembling uh, Narmea, the other one being Cerul. I also believe there have been two outfits that have been leaked. Silhouettes looking like Drang and Sturm. I could be wrong though. But just the silhouettes. So just know that right now you're going to be seeing a lot of things on Twitter and stuff. And if you don't like spoilers, I'll avoid, uh, I'll avoid them. I, and I guess I spoiled it for you. So uh, rest in peace. Another thing to mention is that Leviathan Malice had been a preview fight at the GBF Fest. Keep in mind that the health will be a lot lower than normal, so don't take the clear times that people are getting right now as what the fight's going to be like in actuality. They lower it for people who are newer that go to GBF Fest to be able to participate and not get completely mauled by the fight. No, by the fight. Other than that, uh, Gotcha Pin did get his skill three unlocked. Unfortunately, it's a seven turn lockout, so. That's something you've got to keep in mind. Uh, seven turns is kind of rough for high-end players that most content is kind of done in one to two. So you probably won't be getting much value out of his skill three if you're a high-end player. Newer players will get more access to his skill three because you're likely to be in a fight for much longer than somebody who is stronger. I think this covers about everything. Oh, last thing. Yes, I will be restreaming the GBF uh, festival day one and day two live streams. I will be broadcasting them on Twitch and YouTube if you want to come and join the chat. I don't understand Japanese. Most people probably don't understand Japanese watching this video, but we can laugh at pictures and funny moments together while we understand nothing until GBF G G Grand Blue the sheep translate the things for us? Cause let's be honest, majority of us just look at sheep. All right, if you, what I forgot, it, GB uh, uh, Grand Blue En. Sorry, there we go. We all don't understand it. We look at sheep, and sheep is carrying us because we don't understand nothing. So that's how it goes. It's unfortunate. It just ends up being that way. So oh wait, it's an update. Oh, they update the. Gr oh, okay. Well. Hopefully they update the equipment templates in the future, but not till I'm done with my videos. <laughs> Anyways, we're on to the crow. Uh, the first build being Coral's build. Uh, this is probably the equivalent to the Tmop build here. A light element setup centered around SR weapons, so it's going to be SR weapons. Ignore this build; it's not worth your time or your investment. Uh, there's no traffic weapon here. I don't know why. But yeah, just ignore it. It's not worth your time or your investment. So just throwing it out there. Now we're on to the actual build, Luminaire's Omega build. Works best with Luminaire Omega weapons. Get them from Luminaire Omega raids. Offense is two. It should be one. Defense should be one. Effort should be one. The reason I think defense should be one is because this should be the harp gun grid because you're not going to be high level at this point i assume that they're going to go give you the harp and gun grid i could be wrong though i'm not i'm, I'm kind of understanding their mindsets when it comes to building these grids right they tend to do the five magna two ex bahamut seraphic weapon main hand and these main hands are from either the magna raid itself the special quest or the um, side stories, right? So this is general. I'm not gonna really complain about it. It's okay as a starter grid. 
you end up getting a lot of these weapons while you farm uh, while you farm swords i don't recommend four starting any of these weapons though unless you're really desperate for damage it's not worth the investment for your light quartz as you do need quite a bit for light so it's something you want to keep in mind of um i wouldn't really four star these weapons but they're good to get as a mass limit break and filling your grid I've done it myself back in the day. Now we're on to Luminera Omega Build 2. An enhanced version of the Luminera Omega Build boosts HP for those long battles. Offense is 3, defense is 4. That's really high. Effort is 3. I feel like offense should be 2 and effort should be 3 to 2, depending on how lucky you are. Um, this should be the sword build. I'm considering it should be five swords, six maybe. Um, the sword build is really nice when it comes to health. So what you're mainly looking at here, let's take a look here though. I'm guessing it's five from the way they build these grids. They tend to do five weapons. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm, I'm looking at instantly is that they put the Zeno as a grid weapon and they put the sword as a main hand. That should be vice versa. But other than that, I'm not going to complain too much about this. Uh, I think you should run up. You should actually end up dropping the Bahamut in this grid. Instead of running. Um, you should run another sword instead of the Bahamut in this grid particular. So that's one thing that they also make a mistake on. The Bahamut's not going to be that great here because there's so much normal mod from the swords. So you're actually preferred to run six swords than running a Bahamut. Not to mention that Light is one of the LEs where Bahamut's are kind of hard to run, depending on what characters you're running. Fun Fun Song. The, the, these characters cover a lot of races in a game. So the Bahamut is generally not the best option, depending on your team comp. Unless you have like Lucio and Hal and Mal, then you have a little bit more flexibility because they're primals. But uh, two EX is fine. I feel like the Bahamut should be swamped out with another sword. There's no Opus here, but Going by the way they do it, they only put the Opus in the final build. So, it's okay here. I'm not going to complain that there's no Opus here. However, if you were to put an Opus, you would drop one of the EX for an Opus. But other than that, I think it's okay. We have the Dagger main hand being GW Dagger for multi-attack. Spear main hand. Odin Spear. Don't waste your time. The gun. Should be the Koro gun. Um... As I mentioned, they tend to kind of not think too much about the other weapons. This would be the, the coral gun should be your main hand, so you get more grid damage. So, and the harp should be the uh, the seraphic weapon, not this harp. So, it's something I wish they took a little bit more time into. A lot of these grids are copy and pasted. Like you can just look at the the general build of all these elements, and they're very 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 copy and pasted. So they don't take into account how each individual weapon works as a main hand. And I tend to notice this quite a bit. And now we're on to the final build. Luminera Omega build 3. Offense is 4. Defense is 5. Effort is 4. I believe this is the highest values of any Magna build I've seen so far. Shout out to Light Magna. OP, OP, OP. This build should be maximizing the Luminera Swords, Opus, and I guess Metatron's Bow. This build used the Meta uh, Metatron's... It's Metatron, right? Metatron's weapon, stamina, dishes out lots of damage. <laughs> okay. Now, um... This build... So we only have, oh, we have two weapons. So we have the Saber and the Dagger main hand. I'm not going to nitpick the main hands too much. I feel like they really do drop the ball a lot when it comes to these main hands. So I'm just like, just looking at this Saber main hand and it's not being the Zeno kind of hurts. Because the Zeno is such a good main hand for Magna Light that just me complaining about it here. It just gets redundant. Three swords is okay here. The problem with this grid really falls down to the two bows and the opus. Now, the way it works is that if your grid does not have your opus five star 
Ultra Limit Break is what it's called. I don't think that's an official name, but community calls it Ultra Limit Break. If it's not Ultra Limit Break, what you should be running is the fourth sword and two bows. However, if it is five star Ultra Limit Broken with stamina key, you should run one bow, another sword, and the opus. The second bow is dropped depending on if your opus is completed or not. So that's one thing that they should have put in here. They don't really show you that. And I think it's kind of important if you really want to max the damage out on this build. So that's another thing is that the Bahamut, as I mentioned before, should not be in this build. The Bahamut ends up being replaced by another uh, sword. So another thing that they end up dropping. The EX is fine and the Seraphic is fine. The main hand are questionable. I'm not going to really talk about them too much other than, you know, the obvious Zeno gun. So it's kind of, it's, it's a hard place, right? Because they don't take the time to really take more time into the builds. You have situations here where like, this is okay, right? But depending on the situation of your Opus, you do end up dropping this weapon or dropping this weapon. So I kind of wish they, there's never a scenario where all three of these weapons should be in the grid. It's these two together, if the Opus is fully done, or it's these two together, and this is omitted, if the Opus is not done. So, it's a hard place to be in, I understand, right? They didn't want to take all the time in the world for each build. But I feel like they should have taken a little bit more time if you're going to like go through the effort of making this whole nice layout thing. Just to make the builds a little bit more true to the game in the current state. Also, I, I kind of scroll down too far and end up noticing that there is no Zeus build. Unless this build right here is the Hector build. There is no Hector build here. So unfortunately, the only build would have been the unit grid for wind. That's the wind bias right now, bro. I, I think it was somebody who posted it, how many SSRs we got in the, in the gotcha this year, and it's like 10 wind units. Wind bias is real, my guy. So we have the Zeus build. Offense is four. Defense is four. Effort is four. A Zeus powered by, uh, for a build powered by Zeus's aura. Stamina help, this is out a lot of damage. So we have the not Hector grid. Um, you have Hector bows here, but there's no, like these should be fist and this should be omitted. So there's gonna be no Hector grid. Um, I'm just gonna mention that there, it's kind of a drop ball again, just like the Prometheus grid being omitted. Hopefully in the future, they end up updating it and adding in the Hector Grid as it'll be a mainstay for the upcoming Guild Wars. Many players are currently farming it, preparing themselves for Guild Wars. I recommend most players who have access to Zeus and do have an Eden, the Spear, the Full Limit Break, to go after that grid as it's the strongest grid you would have access to for GW. But it's not here, so that's the frame. Maybe they don't want people to compete hard in GW. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Why is this Opus Magna? What the? Why is this Opus Magna? There's like no normal mod in this grid, dude. What is it like? Small, 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 stamina, stamina, small. That's like, that's like no, I think, I think one Love Eternal has no, oh uh, yeah. I believe one Love Eternal has more normal mod than all the normal mod combined in this grid. What is that like? I think small from um, Luminaire Sword is like 5% rate. Right? 5, 5, 5, 5. This is like 5, 2, right? I think Lumi I think Love Eternal has like 30 something. <laughs> I, I honestly believe that a Love Eternal has more normal mod in just one than its whole grid combined. I could be wrong though. But it's like, wow. Wow. Oh no, I think it's 6.5 now. Yeah, I think I think 6.5 and you have it skill level 20. Um Yeah, I don't know why they went with the Magna Opus. I think that's a mistake here. I feel like you have more than enough Magna mod already. Um I guess they wanted the Magna stamina. 
I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and the magnum opus is optimal here. As I mentioned, somebody would have shown me this curve of their graph. <laughs> I could be wrong here. I'm not too sure. But I feel like they'll, they should go with the primal opus. So, that's weird. Two bows. Um, I think this is kind of weird as well. However, I think because it's magna opus, this that's why they went with two bows. I believe you would go with the um, primal opus and it was ultra limit breaking. You have gone with one bow, but maybe I'm wrong. I find it to be a very weird grid. Honestly, not worth a damn. You should just farm Hector grid. This is for people who are like lazy and they don't, they, they, they farmed a little bit of Hector, but they don't want to finish the Hector grid. That's, that's what this grid tells me, right? Oh, I had luminaire swords. I farmed a little bit of Hector, but I don't want to make the superior Hector grid. So we're going to improvise with this piece of, piece of, piece of, a piece of work. <laughs> I didn't want to call it a piece of garbage, which it is, but a piece of work. Um, and we're on to the last build, which is Zeus stamina and CA build. Offense is max. Defense is three, which is the lowest, right? This is lower than any other build, huh? Wow. And effort is max. An enhanced version of the Zeus build upgraded with grand weapons. Now with this build, I'm looking for, I'm guessing a Fort Eden build. A CA build as well. So maybe a shirt or two. I don't know how many shirts they're going to put in here, but I'm guessing one or two. Um, just look at the thing about that with, the, well, let's take a look here. So I was right. It's four Edens, two shirt. Um, the only problem with this grid is that you have no multi-attack. Like, you are really reliant on your characters. The main hand they pick with, like, a really bad option, and it's only one. Why do they limit it to only one main hand? Can somebody tell me what's the idea on this, right? Are we only allowed to play spear classes with Zeus or something? Are you only allowed, like, I don't get that. They just forget that the search a decent main hand or something. They, they just not care. They got lazy, bro. Were they improvising, bro? Were they speed running it? I, I don't understand this, but um, we have four Edens, which is fine. Two shirt, fine. Notice how each weapon on this grid right now is in the obtained. So like, I can actually test this build. We have the Opus Magna, which is fine because there's a lot of stamina mod. From Primal, so they went with the Magna Opus here. That's perfectly fine. It's also why the grid has three defense because it's not a lot of health here. None of the weapon boost your health. So I think that's fine. Got the EX weapon and the uh, Primark. I actually believe this build would be better with Lucifer. I think as in, if you're doing Zeus Lucifer, I think this is the better build. I could be wrong though. Um, Maybe because the search is less important, but I think Zeus Lucifer is more damage than running double Zeus without buffs, right? If you have buffs in, into uh, effect, then I guess double Zeus can overtake Zeus Lucifer. But raw damage, you get more damage out of running um, Lucifer as your sub, which is generally not the best way to run primals, in my opinion, 2020. Um, or 2019 at the time of recording this video is that a lot of primals want to run double primals So I find it built while it's okay uh, It's weird. Um, it's really character dependent like what characters you're running will matter quite a bit with this build Because one as I mentioned, there's no multi-attack. So you have to rely on units like Lucio John um, Hal and Mal Charlotte characters that have inherent multi-attack rate boost or it can boost the party multi-attack rate. Star call is also okay here. Because right now the grid has absolutely none multi-attack. Which is kind of... It's okay because light does have good characters that can boost multi-attack. But if you were running Kumbera, it may be a problem to keep her buffed permanently. So... Uh, it's something to mention. Other than that, I think it's fine. It's, I think it's, it's, this grid is really character dependent, so I feel like the main hand is really lacking, though. So that's one thing I would like to mention. But it's, it's, the grid is just really character dependent on how well it performs. That's my opinion. And as I mentioned, there's no Hector grid, which should be here. It's going to be probably the most popular free-to-play build 
for high-end players. So, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. But that's it for late. We are five out of six Ellie's done now. One Ellie left being dark. I plan to drop the video before Grand Blue Fest drops. So it should be in less than 24 hours that I dropped a dark video. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to reply to you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.